Come on! Uh. Cursed storm. Where are we? Looks like the captain's cabin. But it's a total mess. Hello? Wait, shouldn't we just... Can't hurt to take a look around, can it? Right. Not bad. Hey, what are you doing? Keep your shirt on, okay? I beg your pardon? Till we've met the crew, we should be ready for anything. You can't just walk around and steal things. Uh, Mr... Drop the formalities. Call me Lex. Lex. I'm Anna. See? Wasn't that hard. I think first Hang we on. should... Hang on. There's no we, understood? You do whatever suits you, but don't count me in. Don't you see that all of this concerns both of us? Don't you see that you're getting on my nerves? Please, let's try and find a way to get along, can we? If you say so. I was always better off on my own. It's gonna be much easier for us if we work together. We'll see about that. I don't remember seeing you during the trip. Not everyone can afford the luxury of traveling first class. Consider yourself lucky that you landed up in the water with a nice guy like me. Well, anyway, do you think there are other survivors? Maybe some made it into the lifeboats after all. I was a bit too busy clinging onto that piece of wood while the storm was throwing us around to pay attention to anything else. What's most important is that I'm alive and well. Why did our ship sink so fast? I've got my ideas, but I'll keep them to myself for now. I'd really like to know what happened. Let's focus on what lies ahead of us now. What kind of ship is this? You don't know much about ships. This is a brigantine. Two-masted transport ship. A couple of years old at a guess. But there's something strange about this ship. What do you mean? I'm not sure. It all looks like it's been put together with miscellaneous odd parts. I mean, look around. Everything's kind of... strange. You seem to know a thing or two about ships. A little. I thought that our ship was blown far off any trading route during the storm. How could we bump into a trading ship out here? Maybe they simply lost their way in the storm. If this is what it looks like inside the captain's cabin, I'm not fond of finding out the state of the rest of the ship. Not so fast. Maybe the captain thought this was the best way to hide his riches. Riches? What are you talking about? I just want to take a look around. I've lost my bag. Come again? My bag. There are personal possessions inside. When I jumped into the water, I still had it on my shoulder. Then maybe next time you should look after your stuff better. Well, maybe you saw it when- No, I didn't notice anything. Where did you say you were heading? Europe. Of course, but what was your business there? Well, what were you up to? I'm a reporter for the daily newspapers back home in New York. I was supposed to write about Spain because their colonies in the New World are- Blah, blah, blah. Doesn't really interest me. You didn't say what you wanted to do in Europe. Simple answer. I'm looking for my lucky break. What do you mean? Let's stop talking about me, can we please? I'm sorry. Let's talk later. Locked. The newspapers are rather old. There's not much that I can decipher. Well, one of the headlines tells about kidnapped and murdered children from La Do Pico. It's completely empty. A nightcap for the captain?
Nothing but the sea. This drawer doesn't have a handle, and seems to be stuck. The ink is dried, and the feather looks ragged. This might help me to open something. The picture shows a beautiful woman. She seems lonely. The drawer is locked. A new handle for the drawer. I think I can open it now. Wait a minute. Weren't you the one who got all hot under the collar just because I pocketed something? I'm looking for a way to open this door. You intended to steal the captain's valuables. You really want to compare that? Compare what you will. I'll take the note with me. It's a news article. Someone scribbled some numbers on it. There are some soggy documents inside. This thin wooden wall is blocked by something on the other side. Not in a very good condition. They're nailed tight. I can't make out what was once written on the crates. It's a news article. Someone scribbled some numbers on it. The clothesline leads behind the wall and is tied to a beam. The rope goes behind the wall. Empty. Someone's been thirsty. The drawer is locked. The captain might summon the crew with it. As if it was looking at me. 
I'll take the note with me. I can take a closer look at things with it. It's a piece of paper. Someone scribbled numbers on it, and holes have been cut into it. The picture's crooked. I should take a closer look. Let's see what this picture's about. What? There's a small key attached to the back of the picture. It shows a large ship in a harbor. Lots of books about all sorts of rubbish. I've unlocked the drawer. I'll take the note with me. The photograph of a little girl, but the burned holes make her unidentifiable and creepy. I've unlocked the drawer. That's a lot of books. There's no more room for them on the bookshelf. It's jam-packed. Don't you feel guilty about rummaging through other people's stuff? Do you know a thing or two about knots? I've been at sea on a schooner for six years. Is that enough? There's a knot back there. I can't untie it. What a pity. I'd be delighted to help you out with that. Thank you. Not free of charge, of course. So, tell me what you have to offer. <laughs> oh? And what is it that you have in mind? Well, should you come across something valuable while you're poking around this cabin? I might be interested in it. Or you could show me some other pretty things that you might have on you. Maybe I'll come across something that might interest you. Can hardly wait. If I place the notes on top of one another, they show some kind of code. Only three numbers remain. I can take a closer look at things with it. If I do it like this, I can see three numbers through the holes. That was the right combination. Let's see what's inside the chest. What? How did you manage to open that lock? The captain seems to have a thing for puzzles. The combination was split and hidden in a couple of notes. A crowbar would have done the trick faster. If I put a crowbar in your hands, I'd be afraid of you wrecking the whole cabin. Hey, don't be cheeky, lady. Well, whatever. But when you hit gold, I want to be the first to know. I hope I won't cut myself with it. A strange amulet. The 
clothesline leads behind the wall and is tied to a beam. I don't want to cut the rope. It would suffice to open the knot. Might work, but maybe there's another way. I'll try that. How did you do that? Let's take a look. That sloughed fox has built himself a secret chamber. And inside is, uh... What the hell is that? Maybe we can find something here to get the door open. The pipes go into the floor. Probably into the cargo hold. What the hell have they built down there? Maybe it's best not to bump into those guys. Are you always that negative? You haven't got a clue about what a crew is capable of doing in order to keep a secret. Especially one like this. And what they're capable of doing to people that they find sniffing around. Like us. This might come in handy. Boy, that thing is heavy. This is used to fill up gas cartridges. Looks like the gas is used to light up the ship. These old pipes are huge. The rusty deposits on them suggest that they're leaking. Now I've got a kind of anchor. The broken part has to go. This is used to fill up gas cartridges. Looks like the gas is used to light up- the Gas is escaping from the machine. I'd better put a container over the leak. is attached to the door. Say, what on earth are you doing now? Trying to get out. Interesting try. Getting a bit seasick, are we? Just wait and see. Nothing but the sea. I think I'm done tinkering with it. I think I'm done tinkering with it. Nothing but the sea. Nothing but the sea. the lock, this would have been much easier. Done! The door's open. Let's go look for the captain. Just a moment. What now? I haven't quite finished reading the logbook. And there's other bits of paper lying around. 
that you haven't got enough loot? You've got a problem with that? I've had enough. I'm off. Oh, no, you don't. You're staying right here. Get off. I didn't want that to happen. I... I can't breathe. My ribs... Uh, I think I broke some. You're bleeding. I can't feel my legs. You need help, and fast. Agreed. This might be a good time to look for the captain. I... Lex! Don't pass out. You need to stay awake. I think I'm hurt real bad. Uh, I, I might not make it. Rubbish. I'll help you. These crates... You need to get them off of me somehow. Okay, maybe I can just lift them off. Hurry, damn it! Don't pass out. I'm gonna try. I'll do my best. Ah, uh, the crates! You need to... Uh, uh, get them off me somehow. Hold on. I'll be back in no time. Damn it! What are you doing? I'm sorry, I was trying to lift the crates, but they're too heavy for me. Ugh! And shoving them down over my leg wasn't really helpful. Damn it! That hurts. Maybe you can make them lighter somehow. I've opened the lid. Lots of pepper sprinkled onto the floor. You did it. It's about time. I don't think that I've broken anything. Oh, your leg, it's bleeding. Um, we need to stop the blood. Wait, we should disinfect the wound before bandaging it. I'll look around for bandages and disinfectant. Could this be the captain? Maybe they've all gone to bed? Anna! Can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Did you meet anyone yet? No, but I've hardly stepped out of the captain's cabin yet. Besides that, it doesn't really look so inviting around here. I'll take this with me. So, what's going on? It's pitch black outside. I need to find some light. The crew? Met anyone? At least not on this deck. How's the injury? I feel weak. I'm still bleeding. Wait, I'll just grab a blanket from back there. Or a rag from the clothesline. Ugh. I'm not in that much of a hurry. Maybe we'll find some clothes that are slightly cleaner? Or even better, some actual bandages? Alright. I'll keep looking some more. But if you begin to pass out, I'll have to use these dirty rags on you. I'm sure you'll find some nice clean bandages somewhere. In an emergency, we can make do with your blouse. How charming. This is used to fill up gas cartridges. Looks like the gas is used to light up the ship. This should work. What are you doing there? You're gonna kill us both. I, I don't know. The machine just sprung to life. Machine? To me that sounds more like a monster breathing. Somewhere deep down inside the belly of the ship. I couldn't have known something like this would happen. Well, apart from the sound, nothing has changed. Which is a good thing, because I don't think I could survive a second ship sinking today.
can't see anything. It's pitch black in here. It's got no wick and no oil. Now if this isn't gonna help me, nothing is. Gas cartridges can be attached here to supply the lamps with gas. The pipe should be filled with gas again, so the lamp should work again. Gas cartridges can be attached here to supply the lamps with gas. <laughs> I feel watched, but it looks so deserted. Probably just my imagination. in the hull. It's very rusty. Even if it were open, it would only lead outside, where there's nothing but water. The door is locked. I'm already on board, so I don't need it anymore. The door is locked. The doors of this metal locker are terribly rusty. The more tools, the better. Nothing's happening. The clock doesn't seem to be working. The doors of this metal locker are terribly rusty. Maybe just the wind?
make many things out of leather. Is anybody here? I'm shipwrecked, and I need some help. Hello? It would be pure suicide if I try to climb down there. Well, now I can go fishing. to be more careful. The hull is filled with water. The hull is filled with water. The hull is filled with water. Damn! A very short, small metal pin just broke. It was holding the pump arm in place. But if I could find something that's roughly the same size and shape, then I might be able to fix it. These kinds of pipes on a sailing ship. Somehow that doesn't seem to fit together. The old workbench hasn't been used in a while. It's coated thick with dirt and strewn with rusty nails. The old workbench hasn't been used in a while. It's coated thick with dirt and strewn. The workbench is functional. Pure proof alcohol. That might be helpful. Look at this. These old sacks have several splits in them. There was cocoa inside. The nails are sticking out, and the planks are barely being held together. I think there's oil inside. I've managed to pull all the rusty nails out of that crate with the pliers. Now I'm left with a few planks and one halfway okay nail. The fallen cargo is blocking the entry to two doors. If I can somehow remove it, then I could access them. These bottles still look pretty clean. Rainwater is constantly dripping into the pot. Its enamel coating doesn't seem to be damaged. I'm sure that this fresh water will be helpful. It 
It's been set for five people. The rotten remains of the last meal are sitting on all the plates. Either the food tasted really awful, or they left the table in a hurry. Steps are broken. I can't go up there. The wheel always turns right. Here's the control transformer but it doesn't work because the belts are gone. Part of a ship's plan. The nail's too thin, it would just fall out. Bent the nail. It's a hook now. The hull is filled with water. The steps are broken. I can't go up there. Damn! A very short, small metal pin just broke. It was holding the pump arm in place. But if I could find something that's roughly the same size and shape, then I might be able to fix it. Crates, sacks, barrels.
The fallen cargo is blocking the entry to two doors. If I can somehow remove it, then I could access them. The old workbench hasn't been used in a while. It's coated thick with dirt and strewn with rusty nails. Wait, do I hear voices? Lex, is that you? <sighs> Calm down, Anna. It's probably just the wind. Wait, do I hear voices? The pipe has been fixed in a hurry. Some steam is leaking through. A bit more heat on the soldering, and the steam would just gush out. The leather won't help me much like this. I should be able to repair the stairs with these planks. Not too shabby. your imagination. What's all this equipment for? Something must have happened. No captain would abandon his ship just like that. Mutiny, maybe? I should take a look around. Maybe I'll find some more clues. Thieves are not welcome here. I need something to crack the lock. I'll assemble it. I can make out a ventilation shaft that's between the captain's quarters and another room. Also, there seems to be a connection between the crane's controls and the machine inside the mess hall. I won't be able to open it with a screwdriver. I need a more sophisticated tool. It must be a souvenir from one of the cities that the ship has docked at. I think that there was a small piece of paper attached, but it seems to have been ripped off. Something's wrong. The compass is spinning like crazy. How can that be? Nothing but water as far as the eye can see. If only I knew where we are. Damn. I can't even budge the steering wheel an inch. Ship lock. I can determine the ship's speed with it. Something is barring the door. I can't get out. The lifeboat is blocking the door. Strange. Nothing happened.
Anna, can you hear me? I should hurry and help Lex. Where can I find some bandages? Big clock face. The craftsman must have assembled it by himself. There's a little door. It's closed. The engravings seem to depict hell. It looks like a cogwheel is missing. Nothing's happening. The clock doesn't seem to be working. The doors of this metal locker are terribly rusty. Who knows what this alcohol might be good for? Maybe I can use the cog somewhere. What's a piece of machinery like this doing on a sailing ship? As if you could put something here. 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 The bell would probably alert the whole ship. The cord's torn off. Everything seems to be in quite a shabby state. One step closer to a fishing rod. Very good! I have a working fishing rod now.
Damn it. Where were you for so long? And what was that noise? Are you trying to sink this thing? I'm feeling fine, thanks for asking. Well, at least one of us is feeling well. I broke through a rotten staircase and ended up in the mess hall. The crew? Not a trace. I think the ship's abandoned. Well, I don't think so. I can hear these strange sounds, and everything seems to be moving. I think it's high time to stop your bleeding. I haven't given up hope that you'll find some proper bandages. Maybe there's a doctor on board. Or there was one on board. This must be the doctor's cabin. In the back of the room, there's a ventilation shaft. It's gotta lead to the captain's cabin. Strange. I feel a faint draft. Maybe there's something behind the books. There is, in fact, a ventilation grid behind the books. Now I can take a closer look at the ventilation shaft. Insulating material could come in useful. The skull drill lies too deep down the shaft. I can't reach it like this. I did it! I've managed to use the fishing rod to hook out the skull drill. I've drilled the lock open. A physician's diary. The last entries are about a sailor who crushed his hand. It also mentions a Subject A. Subject A does not seem to respond to the treatment. Nonetheless, I will increase the dose. Contains musty sheets and overalls. Lots of old bandages crusted with blood. Did this doctor help people, or did he harm them? The label says, Ether, keep away from children. The bottle's open and the contents have long since evaporated. A 
Bible. It's been opened, and one paragraph's been marked. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. The bedpan looks like a tiny oven. Water drips into the old enamel bowl now and again. There are a lot of rusty metal spots where the enamel coating is chipped off. useful things in there. An anatomically correct depiction of a skeleton. There's something strange about this picture. It looks as if there's something pushed against it from the back. Lex? Lex! What are you doing there? Shouldn't you be lying down? This is starting to give me the creeps. See, I wanted to read the ship's log, but I didn't get too far. What do you mean? I think that the last entry was made a couple of weeks ago. But I'm not completely sure, because the cover sheet with the year printed on it was missing and the words started to blur, right in front of my eyes, as if the book refused to be read by me. Just stop it. Your mind is playing tricks on you. The pages at the back are written in Portuguese, but I can hardly see a thing, and my head aches like hell. I think I need a painkiller before I can try to see if I can read it. But... So, did you find something? I found some disinfectant. Very good. Now you need to bandage the wound. There are bandages, a thin thread, and a needle in the bag. I'm not a surgeon. So, did you find something? I found some bandages, too. There we go. I can probably treat the injury now. I've got to take a rest. I don't feel well. Quite weak. Maybe it was a mistake to board this ship. What are you talking about? I've got a really bad feeling about this ship. As if it doesn't want us to be here. Wait. I've got something for you. That's my bag. Where did you... Did you steal it? It, it kind of fell into my hand when we were in the water. I... I'm sorry? Oh well, at least you're giving it back to me. It's not much, but at least I've got some of my belongings back. It's 
the only picture that I have of my real parents. I always buff up the frame to shine. Look, I can even see my reflection in it. A couple of things that I've noted down. I wanted to use them for a news article. So, did you find something? No, not yet. Please, you've got to find these things. I'm getting dizzy. strange about this picture. I'd better not try to cut that. You can make many things out of leather. Looks like a sick room. Maybe I can find medicine for Lex in here. But the crates are in my way. I need to get rid of them somehow. I'll cut the leather into shape. I'll sew it together. The belt is making the cylinder turn. I reckon that I need a second belt. Both belts are in place. Let's see if this works. Crane's blocked. It looks like I can only turn it when the rope is pulled up. The hook on which the lifeboat was hung to the crane is now dangling from a hatch. But the crane would be useful even without the hook. Fallen cargo is blocking the entry to two doors. If I can somehow remove it, then I could access them. Thank you. 
There's the upper deck. I can't make anything out too clearly through the dirt, but there seems to be a huge structure out there. Could be a crane. The crane's blocked. Looks like I can only move it backwards when the rope is pulled up. There's an opening behind it. I wonder what it's for. The shaft leads down to the ship's mess hall. Above the grating, I can see a crane. The shaft leads down to the ship's mess hall. Above the grating, I can see a crane. Now the rope's long enough to reach the ground. Right. Now the rope's long enough. A deck of French playing cards. The Ace of Spades lies on top. The chain's attached to the cargo now. I should be able to lift it up.
my god, that scream came from the room behind this door! What kind of strange light is this? I... I feel so weak. Ah, the effect of the drug is lessening. Can you hear me? Where... am I? Speak when you're spoken to, girl. You're at high sea, with no sight of land for far and wide. My parents... I... Your parents are the first Where? thing that come into your mind? That almost surprises me. Who are you? Where am I? I'm Dr. Eduardo Juarez. Just call me doctor. I'm so very keen to find out what's going on inside your head. What? Leave me alone! I want to go home! Now that's impossible. You can never go home again. Leave me alone, please! I can't do that. Why? Who are you? I'll check on you later. The two of us are going to spend a long, long time together. Now here's a little treasure. I needed to see you with my own eyes. I'm Cesar, so you're called Fiona. What a sweet name. And you are really lovely, lovely hair. I'll come back later when my shift is done. Then, I'll check up on you. Shush. Huh? Come here, quick. Here, behind the wall. I can't see you. Where are you? Who are you? Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Reuben. Reuben? Did you forget about me, sister? So, you're my brother. Oh, Fiona, what have they done to you? I don't know. Don't believe a word that the grown-ups say. They don't want to help you. No one on board will. This is a smuggler's ship. It sails the seven oceans with its pitch-black sails billowing, carrying locked-up children. But the doctor... That's what he calls himself. But he's not going to cure you. He would be sold. Or he would carry out terrible experiments on you. But that can't be. Listen to me. He's abducted you. And he's given you medicine to make you sleep. I'm in the room behind this wall. I found a lot of things. They talk much. I can help you escape. What? I... What? What should I do? Just do what I say. Then I can help you. Only then. How are you going to help me? I'm terribly afraid. Calm down. Trust me. You have to do exactly what I tell you. I can show you the way. All right. I'll try. Good. First, you need to find a way out of this prison. Explore everything. Somehow, you can free yourself. You're clever. You can do it. Oh, there are some loose planks under the carpet. The rag looks really dirty, but maybe I can still... Where did all the blood come from? Other children? There's a small shaft below the hatch. Captain, there's something that we need to discuss. What about? A lot, actually. But first and foremost, it's about my patient. Very well. Show me what you mean. Let's go. Where's my necklace? I've lost my necklace when I was crawling through the ship. Oh no. It looks heavy. Really heavy. That smells really funny. And ugh, it's stinging my eyes. The cloth is now dripping wet with this weird liquid.
What a big room! I need to find things that can help me. I might be able to open something with it. Sleepy powder. I'll take it with me. This drawer doesn't have a handle and seems to be stuck. Now look what we have here. You need to drive the sailors out of the mess hall. But how? No one is allowed to be in the room. They all need to go. What if they see me? Can you hear them talking? They're using the pipe over there to speak to each other. They're talking about barrels filled with something dangerous. I'll take a look around. It fits. The door's open! I'm afraid to go further. The bad men- There's something inside the pocket. There's something inside the pocket. There's just a single match left. I know that you can do it. Are there other children on the ship? Only you and me. Why us? Of all people. Because you are special, Fiona. And that's why you're in great danger. What am I supposed to do now? You need to drive the sailors out of the mess hall. But how am I supposed to do that? Nobody is allowed inside the room. They need to go. All of them. But if they see me... You need to lure them away. See the pipe? They use it to talk to each other. They talk about barrels with dangerous content. I'll be back soon. I'm afraid to go further. The bad men will see me. I can't see inside. They're nailed tight. This is where I was tied up. I've heard sounds coming from there, like people talking, but very quietly. I can unscrew okay. the connecting piece.
I've stuffed the wet cloth into the speaking tube. Oh, that stinks. Hey, look! The machine room speaking to smoke. What the? The machine room's on fire. The barrels. We need to get in there now. Captain, that's madness. We'll all be gone as. Come on, you cowards! Into the machine room, or else we're all gonna be blown to pieces. There's not much time, but we can still prevent it. Damn it! All oh, your captain. What am I supposed to do now? You need to defeat the bad men. Make them get weak or tired. I can't. You can make them weak or fall asleep. You will find a way. I don't think I can do that. I'll show you the way. I've heard them talking. There are medicines on this ship that are not good for them. You just need to take a look around. Well, fine. I'll try. of a ship's plan. Hmm. Should I really do this? Or maybe I can just run away before they come back. Or maybe I can lock them out. No, they would just hunt you down. When they've caught you, they will do terrible things to you. But... Do it! They will be back very soon. Come on, hurry up! Now they'll fall asleep. But I have to be gone before they wake up again. But where did the smoke come from? I mean, we didn't just imagine it, did we? Maybe a stupid rat caught fire. Can we go on eating now, please? Sure, dig in. Uh, I don't feel to get it. Me neither. Oh, Doctor, what's going on with us? I need to catch some fresh air. Me too. Good work. Now you can get out of here. Search for something that you can use to escape with. Something that floats. And where you can fit in. I need to be quiet. I can hear that doctor in the room above me. There's gotta be a way out. And I need to find something that I can use to escape with. are too high up for me. How can I reach them? I'll move my little boat over to that hatch. A big hatch that leads outside. I could get off the ship, but there's a big lock in front of it. not do anything wrong with this. A key! There's a symbol on it. I think that it's supposed to mean the cargo hold. That's next to the door where I was locked up. But isn't that the room where Ruben is in? I could take him with me! We could escape together! I need to go to the cargo hold.
so here you are. I knew that you'd cause trouble. I should have given you a larger dose of the medication. Now, we don't want a tragic accident to happen. I... I... The door is completely warped. Oh my god. No. No, that can't be true. Ashes everywhere, and this... This is Fiona's handkerchief. No, this can't be true. Who would do such an awful thing to a little girl? Musket's ramrod. A long stick with a hook on its end. Looks like there were lemons in this one. Looks like Fiona's. If only I knew what happened to her. A lot of screws. It gets the coals to the oven. Ashes everywhere. Who would do such a horrible thing to a child? Part of a ship's plan. I'll assemble it. Quite heavy. The ship's map is complete. The inscription on the crate is illegible. Looks as if this was the cargo hold as well. This doesn't really look like a musket. This doesn't really look like a musket. Ah! The hook from the crane. It fell into the water. The 
hull is filled with water. to help him. The door's blocked. I can't get into the room this way. But wasn't there another door close to the mess hall? I think that I should take a look around. Wait, do I hear voices? Lex, is that you? <sighs> Calm, the pipe has been fixed in a hurry. Some steam is leaking through. A bit more heat on the soldering, and the steam would just gush out. glowing. Ashes everywhere. Who would do such a horrible thing to a child? If I want to use the smoldering coal, I better get a move on. I'll put the coals in. The ramrod from the musket is red hot. Now that it's stuck into the hot coal, it'll stay hot for quite a while. I could melt the solder joint with the hot ramrod, but it's too hot to hold. I can use the insulating material to hold the red hot ramrod that's heating up in the bed warmer. It's working. Now the steam is coming out here instead of upstairs. Have you come? 
on, insane! Oh, wait. It's you. You're out of your mind. Everything is blurry. I can hardly see anything. I feel weak. In pain. I could really do with some medicine right now. I found a room with medicine inside, but the door was jammed. There's no time to wait for a locksmith. Get some kind of long, solid bar and pry the damn door open. Hang on. First, I need to tell you something important. Tell me something. I'm not in the right frame of mind to listen. Until you find some painkillers for me, you might as well tell it to all these animals here. Which are not really moving, by the way. Or are they? I'll be back. There's a picture of a key on it. The guitar's been lying here for a while. The dampness has really damaged it. Their owner had a wide range of interests. Fiction, flora, and fauna of the southern seas. Music? These trophies appear to originate from all the different places that the ship has docked at, and there's a little note attached to it. Something's written on it. It says, acquired at longitude 27.75, latitude 38.75. The sheets may be old and musty, but the bed was made with care. I've never picked a lock before. These animals look like they come from remote, faraway lands. Maybe the occupant of this cabin was a hunter, and there's a little note attached. Something's written on it. It says, Hunted at longitude 28.78, latitude 38.5. A stuffed lizard on a branch. Did the occupant of this cabin hunt down these animals? Here's a little note attached to it. Something's written on it. It says, shot at longitude 26, latitude 38. the boat hook in some force, I should be able to unhinge the door. Good. That worked. The room where Fiona was imprisoned! It really exists! What on earth is happening here? This will help Lex to get back on his feet. This is where Fiona escaped her prison. Now it's flooded with water.
Ugh, that stuff really helps. Do you understand me again? That seems to be the case, but please do me a favor and keep the volume down, will you? A lot has happened. Let's leave our quarrels behind. You've got a big heart, that's for sure. Anyway, I really need to tell you something now. Is that so? Maybe it was just a dream. Or my imagination. I saw a girl. Fiona. She was on the ship, as a prisoner. What are you talking about? It's as if I was on the ship in some other time. Perhaps it's still to happen. I don't know. That does sound rather crazy. Yeah, it was weird. I can't explain it. Well, maybe I can. What do you mean? Before I lost my senses, I was able to decipher some of the logbook's content. The Portuguese part. And I found out something rather interesting. This ship transported not only normal freight, they've made some modifications and turned the hold into some kind of distillery. Some kind of what? You can produce alcohol with it. I've read something about ethanol, and I think that we're on board a smuggler ship. Yes. My vision was about smugglers too. Anna. What I mean by this is that there are probably lots of barrels down there that are filled to the brim with volatile liquid, and they are responsible for completely clouding your senses. No, no. This vision felt completely real. It... I can hardly describe it. I've never experienced something like that. I can't deny that this ship is creepy, but ghosts? I don't know. How did you manage to get here in your condition? Why didn't you stay in the captain's cabin? What? Oh, of course. I found the key, and since you were gone for so long, I started to worry about you. I wanted to see if you might need some help. When I came in here, I tripped. I must have lost consciousness for a bit. Anyway, when I woke up, I saw the wardrobe lying there, and I was too weak to move it. I think that the girl is the key to what's happening here. I think that... I need to help her. I think that if I don't, that something terrible is gonna happen to her. Just listen to yourself. You're not making any sense. I found her ashes. Down in the machine room in front of a huge oven. If only I knew who she is, or what's happened to her. Well, there's one thing I know for sure. And that is what will happen to us if we don't get a move on and get out of here. This ship. It's got eyes and ears. It's whispering and it's going to be our grave. What can we do? If what I read is true, then we need to get off this cursed ship as fast as possible. If ethanol leaks from the hold, it might kill us and we won't even notice. Or the ethanol catches fire, which would get us just as killed. We need to get off this ship. But to do that, we first have to find out where the hell we are. It's time that we uncovered a couple of this ship's dark secrets, don't you think? But how? What should we do? You don't know much about navigation, but I do. You need to become my eyes, ears, and hands. See if you can fix the position and get us back on course. Before we leave the ship, it's essential that we know which direction to take. Otherwise, we'll be lost in open sea. But I'm a reporter, not a sailor. There's no better time to become one. There's a letter in the casket. Let's see. There's a picture of a key on it. There's a picture of a key on it. There's a picture of a key on it. There's a picture of a key on it.
I've cracked the lock on the map table. Oh, a sea chart. Could come in useful, and there's a note stuck to the chart. Oh no. The note was stuck so fast to the map that there's nothing left I could use. Wait. Wait. There's an impression of the note left on the map. I've seen how this is used, once. The map is glued tight to the table. I would only destroy it if I try to get it off, but I can use the map here. The sea chart is sure to come in handy in combination with the root book. I can take a closer look at things. I should take a look at the root book before I start scribbling on this map. Something is barring the door. I can't get out. The lifeboat is blocking the door. I think I'm on the right track. Next, I should... There is no more right track. Uh, uh, what was that? Lex? I've never seen butterflies like these before. They must come from far away. But where exactly? Here's a note attached. Something's written on it. It says, found at longitude 31, latitude 39. Using the sea chart, I could determine five places that I need for the root book. I just need some clue as to what these coordinates might be. It says, acquired at longitude 27.75, latitude 38.75. I should find all five coordinates before entering anything on the map. It says, hunted at longitude 28.78, latitude 38.5. It says, shot at longitude 26, latitude 38. It says, found at longitude 31, latitude 39. I can take a closer look at things with it. I can take a closer look at things with it. I should find all five coordinates before entering anything on the map. I should find all five coordinates before entering anything on the map. I should find all five coordinates. I better keep this. To identify a shipping route in this book, I first need to find five places that have been visited. It's the only picture that I have of my real parents. 
I always buff up the frame to shine. Look, I can even see my reflection in it. It looks like there were coordinates on the note. A faint reverse image of the coordinates has been transferred onto the map. It's very difficult to decipher. Yes! I can use the picture frame to decipher the mirror image of the note. It's a coordinate. Longitude 25, latitude 37. It's a coordinate. Longitude 25, using the C chart, I could determine five places that I need for the root book. I just need some clue as to what these coordinates might be. I found a city! 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 To identify a shipping route in this book, I first need to find five places that have been visited. There actually is a shipping route that links all five of these locations. That's the route! I'd rather use it to look at the stars. It's too foggy. There's no way I could use the sextant to determine our position. <coughs> hey, what's that? A seagull! There must be land ahead. Did you find out anything? I've tried to fix our position with a sextant. Great. Did you succeed? No, I didn't. It was too foggy. But I'm sure that we're not that far from land. Then now you should try to change our course. Is there anything else? I've tried to change our course, but I can't budge the wheel. Not even an inch. Damn. There must be a way to find out where we are and how fast we're moving. Is there anything else? The compass on the bridge? Something's not quite right here. What's wrong with it? It's spinning like crazy. I can't determine whether we're heading north, west, south, or east. I don't believe this. Well, we should at least find out how fast we're moving. Is there anything else? Please, could you tell me again what I'm supposed to do? You really need to find out whether we're heading north, west, south, or east. We need to find out how fast we're moving. As long as we don't know that, we can't tell for sure where we're at. 
Maybe you can get a hold of a chip log. It's made out of a piece of wood and a rope. How can I measure the ship's speed with a chip log? The chip log consists of a wooden board and a rope with knots in it. You throw the board into the water from the stern. The faster the ship's moving, the faster the rope will unroll. You count the number of knots for exactly 15 seconds. Then we'll know how fast we're going. Of course, you'll need a watch for that. No problem. Did you find out anything? What the blazes were you doing in the hallway just now? A and how did you get back here so quickly? What are you talking about? I was here the whole time. My legs feel like they're cemented to the floor. I need to go. A giant clock. Looks like someone built it from old parts that he collected. I think that I can use the cogwheel again. The clock should be complete again now. Let's see if I can wind it up. A big clock face. The craftsman must have assembled it by himself. Now the clock is wound up. I can hear it tick. The figurine wears a captain's hat, so no doubt it's the captain. And it's got to signify something that he's emerging from the gates of hell. This figure could depict the captain. He looks authoritative. who built this clock? Might be. After all, he has a pocket watch in his hands. It's not ticking. Let me wind it up. A pocket watch. It probably doesn't show the right time, but it's still working. So I can use it for other things. Why is this stubborn idiot dragging himself through the corridors? He's lost an unnecessary amount of blood. Good. At least now we know how many knots the ship is going at. <sighs> I should get back to Lex as quickly as possible. Why 
Why is this stubborn idiot dragging himself through the corridors? He's lost an unnecessary amount of blood. Did you find out anything? I was able to determine the ship's speed using a chip log. At least we know how fast we're going. If only we knew more about the ship's route. Is there anything else? I found out what route we're on. That should be sufficient. If it's true what you say, then we're following a sea current. And if there's really land nearby, then we're currently sailing past a very small island. And because the rudder is stuck, we'll be sailing on out into the open sea for days, maybe weeks. We can only survive if we get off the ship immediately and head for that island. Of all things, it's the lifeboat blocking the way out. We're trapped in here. We need to get out somehow, and fast. We need to set that lifeboat afloat. I saw a crane. If you can operate it, you can use it to lift away the lifeboat and solve two problems at the same time. I'll try. And watch yourself. Here, take this. The revolver. What am I supposed to do with it? There's no one here apart from the two of us. I'm not so sure about that anymore. What do you mean? Take it. Just in case. You'll need it more than I will. Do you know how to use it? I think sometimes it's more important to know when not to use it. You've got a point there. I'm taking one bullet out. Very short, small metal pin just broke. It was a replacement for the metal bolt. Looks like there's less water underneath the planks now. Still too much water to be able to see anything. The water inside the hatch is definitely diminishing. I think I've completely drained the water. I guess the hook drifted along further. I should check somewhere else. the crane's hook. We could lower the lifeboat into the water with it. Wait, what's that? That... that's the... amulet. Now come on, Fiona. I have your best interest at heart. It's empty. He wants to kill but you. it smells like oil. There's a needle behind the glass. Don't it's listen moving. to him. Eek! <gasps> the glass broke. A tiny Come on, needle I fell know out. You're in there. The needle You've fell got out to be more device. clever than him. The room is filled with barrels. Smells a bit now. There's a hole in the if barrel. If it gets you, you will and suffer terribly. And a liquid terribly. is coming out of it. Now the can is filled Speak with this weird me. liquid.
Fiona. I can't even I'll begin be to, to think about to all me. the time. Oh. Damn it, you little brat! Just wait until I get my hands on you! I can go! My patience is now at an end. <sighs> I'll get you. He wants to kill you. This is Don't heavy. listen to him. The coals block the way out to the coal chute. Just wait until I get my hands on you. I can hear you. You need to defeat him. Huh? Or else what was he's that? going to sell you. Done for. <sighs> now come out of there at last. Got you. <sighs> uh, or he's going to cut you open. Before things get worse. He is evil. It's dead. And there's a hook pierced through it. Now I can reach the piggy's head. It's dead, and there's a I hook pierced you. through it. I can't open it without a tool. Click! Now I can take a look Save inside the yourself. suitcase. The suitcase is empty now. Now I can move much more quietly. Come out there already. You can't hide forever. wants to kill you. Hey, what was that? Was that you, girl? Don't listen to him. Just wait until I get my hands on you. <gasps> you need to defeat him. <sighs> Where are you? Come out and show yourself. Or else he's going to sell you. Where are you? Talk to me. <sighs> Now come out of there at last.
safe. I've done it. Oh my god, fire! The whole ship will be ablaze in no time. Lex, I have to help him. There you are. I thought you died. These vapors, they can completely fog up your senses. I'm fine. Lex, listen to I me, I- can barely I... move. If you hadn't come back. But I'm here now, Lex. Listen to me, this girl- Now we know for sure. This ship is cursed. The hook, you got it? Can we move the lifeboat? Now boat? listen to me for a second! What? I've seen the girl again, and saved her. Are you okay? Maybe you inhaled too much of the vapors. This ethanol is the devil's brew. Let's get to some fresh air, as fast as we can. The ship's burning! If the fire reaches the ethanol barrels, the ship's going to explode. Thank you for coming back. I would have died here otherwise. We need to get out of here, quick. Do you have the hook? Here it is. Please, help me. I can't do it on my own. Wait, I'll help you. We need to hurry. Attach the hook so that we can escape. But we need fresh water before we leave. We'll die without it. I shouldn't waste the fresh water. As long as the chain is still fixed to the cargo, I can't attach the hook. I've detached the cargo from the crane. I've attached the hook to the chain. I should be able to launch the lifeboat now. some fresh water? Here you go. Wait a minute. What the hell is this? Rat poison. Oh, the sleeping drug that Fiona gave to the sailors. It's one of these bottles. Sleeping drug? What are you talking about? This is rat poison. No, I saw what happened. Fiona put it into their food, but the bottle looked somehow different. We don't have time to find out what you may or may not have seen. It's the fresh water that's important, and we've got it. Let's get to the crane. inside the lifeboat, even before it could be lowered. Hang on a minute. What did you say about your vision? About the rat poison? Fiona. No way, she didn't. She poisoned these men. 
That's why they never made it off the ship. No, Fiona just tranquilized them. With the sleeping drug. That wasn't a sleeping drug. She killed them all. In your visions, you saw a murderer. But I saved her. From the doctor, he intended to burn her alive. Enough of this. Open your eyes. The girl killed them. How can you not see this? And she murdered this doctor too. We'll never know for sure if he really was a bad man or not. Maybe he was just on board to care for the girl. And all of this has turned this vessel into a cursed ghost ship. She didn't have any evil intentions. We need to get off the ship. This ship drives everybody crazy. Mary... Celeste? What did you just say? It's written on the lifeboat. Is it the name of the ship? That's impossible. The Mary Celeste disappeared without a trace. What are you talking about? She was... She was a brigantine. It's been more than ten years now that she's disappeared somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. I've been at sea with some old sea dogs who claim to have seen her as a shadow in the mist. But whoever turned his ship to follow her didn't find anything. A ghost ship. And this is the crew? Are you sure? Look at them. They've been dead for many years. A ship that's been missing for over ten years? Yes. And your story about Fiona seems to fit. It's good to know that I didn't believe in you for nothing. Why do you think that Fiona's story is true? There's exactly the same number of corpses outside as the number of sailors that Fiona's poisoned. There's a passenger list on the captain's cabin. Only the doctor is missing, and he was burnt alive. And you found his ashes in the machine room. So it all fits together. What you told me had really happened. Here on the Mary Celeste. So this leaves one very important question in this puzzle. Who are you? What? How do you know what's happened to Fiona? I had these visions. But why you? Everything seems to have something to do with you. I, for one, didn't see any ghosts, nor little girls. Because I... Because... How many years ago did you say all of this took place? At least 12 or 13 years. Why? How old was I back then? I don't quite seem to follow you. I must have been seven or eight years old when this ship disappeared. I was a child, a little girl. No. No, that can't be. That's impossible. It was me. All of this. It was me. Now what are you talking about? I am Fiona. I did all of this. I'm the guilty one. But your name's not Fiona. Your name is... Anna. That's what my foster father called me. After he adopted me. He only told me that I survived a shipwreck. But whatever happened before that... I was never able to remember until now. Anna, we need to get off this ship, now, or this will be our grave. I can remember my family. Anna! The house in the colonies. It burned. I know, this must be tough for you. But there's one thing that I have no memories of. A brother. I don't think that I had a brother. Who was that voice that was talking to me through the wall? Who, or what was that voice, Lex? Lex? What is it, Anna? Now we know who I am. But do we know who you are? For God's sakes, I don't have the slightest idea what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. What? What? I've said I've got no idea what you're talking about. I'm sorry. I need to trust you. Anna, stop it, dammit! You're giving me the creeps! My parents. I can remember them, but not my brother. And Fiona never saw him. Just heard his voice. 
He didn't exist. He was only in my head. We need to go. Time is running out. Don't leave me behind. Lex, I need your help to get off this ship. Anna, you're really confused. Look around. The ship is burning. And all that matters is that the both of us go through this door right now and get off the ship. Both of us. You and me. Stop. Stop talking. Trust him. I trust you, but I think I'm going crazy. The ethanol. It's got to be the vapors from the barrels that are doing this to you. Come to your senses before the ship's getting blasted to pieces. Come to your senses. I can't move. I can't help you. You need to help me. Focus. Be strong. I've shown you the way once before. Anna, listen to me. All of this is real. 